No content file found, a simple message, a technical error. But what if it's more than that? What if this message is a clue, a breadcrumb leading you to a deeper mystery? But sometimes, error messages are doorways. They are not just technical glitches, they are invitations to explore the unknown. They beckon you to dig deeper, to uncover what lies beneath the surface. They hint at something more. A story untold, a secret waiting to be discovered. The empty folder is not just a void, it's a canvas waiting for you to paint its picture. An empty folder on your computer, a blank space where a file should be. It's a puzzle, a riddle that demands your attention. You can't help but wonder what was there before. What information has vanished into thin air? It's an itch you need to scratch. What was there? Was it something important, something you needed? Or was it just a trivial file, lost in the digital ether? The questions swirl in your mind, refusing to be ignored. And more importantly, where did it go? The cursor blinks mockingly. Each blink is a reminder of the absence, a taunt that you can't decipher. It's as if the computer itself is playing a game with you, hiding its secrets just out of reach. Like an empty stare, it offers no answers. The screen remains silent, a void that refuses to give up its secrets. You feel a sense of frustration, but also a spark of curiosity. What if you could solve this mystery? Just that sterile phrase hanging in the digital void. It's a challenge, a puzzle that needs solving. You can't help but feel drawn to it, compelled to find out what happened. You check the trash bin hoping for a mistake, an accidental deletion. Maybe the file is there, waiting to be restored. But as you sift through the digital debris, you find nothing. The file is gone, and with it, a piece of the puzzle. But the folder remains empty. The mystery deepens. You are left with more questions than answers. What was in that folder? Why is it gone? And most importantly, how can you find it again? The search begins, and with it, a journey into the unknown. You try to remember. The memory is just out of reach like a word on the tip of your tongue. What was the file named? You type in various keywords, hoping one will trigger the right result. When did you last see it? You replay the moments in your mind, trying to pinpoint the last time you accessed it. The details are hazy. Frustration mounts. You feel the pressure building as you struggle to recall. You pace the room, running a hand through your hair. The anxiety is palpable, each step echoing your growing desperation. The more you try to remember, the more elusive the memory becomes. It's like chasing shadows in a fog. You search your computer again, using different keywords. Nothing. The screen mocks you with its emptiness. It's as if the file has vanished into thin air. You wonder if it ever existed at all. The digital world, once so familiar and navigable, suddenly feels vast and unknowable. The sense of control you once had is slipping away. You feel a chill, a sense of unease. The room feels colder, the air heavier. What else might be lurking in the shadows of your own hard drive? You start to question the reliability of your digital storage. You dig through old USB drives hoping to find a backup. Each one holds a fragment of your digital life. As you scroll through the files, a glimmer of hope flickers. Maybe, just maybe, the file is here. But the hope is short-lived. The file isn't there. The emptiness of the folder mirrors the void in your memory. You sit back, feeling defeated. The digital dead end looms large, a reminder of the fragility of our digital lives. In this moment, the digital world feels both infinite and empty, a vast expanse where things can be lost forever. But you refuse to give up. With renewed determination, you start typing again, hoping to find a way out of this digital maze. The rational part of you says to move on. It was probably nothing important, a forgotten document, a duplicate file, but the seed of curiosity has been planted. You can't shake the feeling that something is missing, that there's more to this than meets the eye. You start digging deeper. You scour your computer's history, looking for any trace of the missing file. You check for system errors, hoping for a clue. The search becomes an obsession. You lose track of time, your focus narrowing to this single consuming mystery. What was in that file? Was it something personal, something secret, or was it something mundane? A grocery list, a to-do list, a draft of an email never sent? The possibilities swirl in your mind. The not knowing is the hardest part. It's a blank canvas onto which you project your fears and your fantasies. The missing file becomes a metaphor for all the things you've lost or forgotten. It's a reminder of your own fallibility. Section 5. The Weight of the Unknown. Days turn into nights. 
The no content file found message haunts your dreams. You become withdrawn, obsessed. Friends and family notice your distraction. They ask what's wrong, but you can't explain. How do you articulate the unsettling feeling of losing something you never knew you had? The missing file becomes a weight you carry, a constant reminder of the unknown. It's a crack in the facade of your digital world, a glimpse into the abyss of lost data and forgotten memories. Section six, a lost masterpiece? Maybe it was something incredible, a lost manuscript by a literary genius, a groundbreaking scientific discovery, a secret that could change the world. The thought is both exhilarating and terrifying. You imagine yourself as a digital archeologist, uncovering a lost treasure trove of knowledge. The weight of responsibility settles upon you. What if you could find it? What if you could share it with the world? Section seven, a glitch in the system? The title itself evokes a sense of mystery and uncertainty. What could it mean? Is it a simple error or something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? Or maybe it was nothing at all, just a fleeting moment of confusion, a minor hiccup in an otherwise smooth operation. But the mind can't help but wander, questioning the reality of what just happened. A glitch in the system, a corrupted file. These are terms we hear often, but rarely do we stop to think about their implications. What if this glitch is more than just a technical error? What if it's a sign of something deeper, something more profound, a figment of your imagination? The logical part of your brain knows this is the most likely explanation. After all, computers are just machines and machines make mistakes. But what if this time, the mistake is not just a random occurrence? The logical part of your brain knows this is the most likely explanation. Yet, logic doesn't satisfy the nagging feeling of unease. You can't shake off the feeling that something is off, that there's more to this glitch than meets the eye. You run diagnostic tests, scan for viruses, defragment your hard drive. You try to find a rational explanation for what happened. You go through every possible scenario in your mind, trying to piece together the puzzle. You try everything you can think of to find a rational explanation, but the mystery persists. The file is gone. No matter how hard you try, you can't retrieve it. It's as if it never existed in the first place, and with it, a small part of your peace of mind. You sit back, staring at the screen, wondering what just happened. Was it really just a glitch, or is there something more to this story? The questions linger, leaving you in a state of contemplation, searching for answers that may never come. Section eight, conspiracy theories. You start to see patterns where there are none, you imagine shadowy figures lurking in the depths of the internet, erasing your files, manipulating your reality. The line between reality and paranoia begins to blur. You tell yourself it's just your imagination running wild, but a small part of you can't help but wonder, what if you're right? What if there's more to this than meets the eye? Section nine, the allure of mystery. Despite the frustration, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, a part of you enjoys the mystery, the thrill of the unknown, the possibility that something extraordinary might be just around the corner. The no content file found message becomes a challenge, an invitation to explore the hidden corners of the digital world. It's a reminder that even in the age of information, there are still mysteries to be solved. Section 10, accepting the void. Eventually, the obsession fades, you accept that you may never know what was in that file. The world hasn't ended, life goes on, but the experience has changed you. You're more aware of the fragility of data, the ephemeral nature of digital information. You back up your files religiously. You appreciate the beauty of a blank page, the potential of an empty folder. Section 11, the beauty of what's missing. The no content file found message, once a source of frustration, becomes a reminder that sometimes the most interesting stories are the ones left untold, the mysteries unsolved, the blanks we fill in with our imagination. In a world saturated with information, there's a certain beauty in the unknown, a sense of wonder that comes from accepting that some things are better left unfound. 